Well, I've discovered a small leak somewhere up forward in the V-berth area here. And uh, in trying to trace things down, it looks like the culprit is one of these three. Either the mooring cleat, the stanchion base, or the hose pipe. So, we're going to go below and uh, take some things apart, see if we can figure out for sure where this leak is coming from. Well, after pulling down a couple of overhead panels here, here in the V-berth, and taking a close look up into the bulwarks, it appears the leak is coming from the forward hose pipe. So this is what the hose pipe looks like when I first remove it. And as you can see, there's just a very small layer of caulk sealing the two halves together. The correct way to install hose pipes is you place one on the outside of the bulwark and another one on the inside. However, in the middle, inside the bulwark, you have a piece of hose that connects the two pieces of pipe together. It's not normally a piece of hose where you would have space. Normally the faces of the hose pipes are as closely mated as possible. As you can see here, these two halves of these hose pipes do not mate together well. The gap between these two halves was sealed with just a bit of caulk in the center. The proper way to handle this is when they're installed into the bulwark, inside of the bulwark you have a piece of rubber hose. The hose pipe is fit into the rubber hose with bedding and then install them. All right, so we're on deck now with the different components to uh, put this all back together. One little trick that I've learned the hard way is uh, when you're going to be working with anything and you're going to be reaching over the side of the hull, make sure you secure it. That's what this piece of line is going to be for. Since this outer piece is going to be going outside the hull and then being brought in, I'm going to run a piece of line through it and then I'm going to tie another eye in the opposite end so that I cannot accidentally drop this overboard. It's always a good idea to clean off all of the old bedding compound before installing new pieces of hardware. Okay, so everything is tied off with lines now. Theoretically, I can't drop anything overboard. It's time to do a little bit of a test fit. The inner piece of hose, and the reason that you need to get hose without wire in it is so that it's flexible like this, needs to get set in first. And then once it's in place, we pull the chain pipe itself into the hose. Like so. Ah, there, that's all installed. And at this point, I would go ahead and put the fasteners in. Then I would come back and install this inner piece. Now the inner piece, obviously I'll have to remove my safety line for. But prior to installing the inner piece, I will also put bedding compound all the way around the edges here and of course on the flange of the inner piece. I would also have already put bedding here if I were not doing this dry fit first. But in the sake of avoiding the messiness, because I get caulk everywhere, we do a dry fit first. All right, almost there. We've got the two halves installed. We've got the bedding compound in place and we're putting the fasteners back in to tie it all together. Decided to go with a brown bedding compound thinking that it would somewhat disappear, particularly in the middle here where there is a bit of a seam. Okay, so there we are, completely installed. Obviously going to have to clean up a little bit of the uh, bedding compound around the edges and uh, in the inside, but hopefully we'll never have to deal with a leak at this hose pipe again. Well, it appears that this job is done. 
other than picking up the tools and uh, putting things away. The finished project. You can see how the bedding seals between the two halves of the hose pipe itself. In an ideal scenario, these two halves would have been fit more closely. But between the bedding and the hose, we should never have a leak here again. A couple of notes related to this repair. I've since checked all the hose pipes on our boat, and there were others missing the center hose. This repair is simple and can be done completely from above deck. The hose pieces need to be cut about an inch to an inch and a quarter wide to fit inside of the bulwark. The inside width of the bulwark does vary slightly from one side to the other. Finding three and a quarter inch soft wall hose was a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm.